The aftermath of Terra Crash just keeps unveiling South Korean exchange Corbett to the left Luna. Hello boys and girls and welcome to Crypto Prodigy YouTube channel, the place where we tell you everything you want to know and everything you need to know regarding your favorite cryptocurrency. In this video, we are going to be talking about none other than Terra Luna. And of course, I will be providing you with a price prediction on Luna, so if you want to find out where is this little red dot going to go in the future, make sure to stay with us till the end of this video because first of all, I would not want you to miss out on some of the really interesting news and updates that we have prepared for you. Now before we go over the news, let me share some price details regarding Luna at this point. Right now, the current value is 0.301672, which is actually a drop in the amount of 1.96% as you can see it over here. But take a look at the trading volume, guys. It's in the green and it's up by 58.71%. So if we scroll down and take a look at the price movement, we can see that it's mostly in the green for the last 24 hours. Over here, you can see it peaking almost to 3020. It's uh, right underneath it. But what's important for us is the dot at the end of the chart, so right over here. Where is this price going to go in the future? If that's what you're wondering, all you would need to do is watch this video till the end and I will provide you with that price prediction. Now, first of all, and without any further ado, let me get back to the news that I started the video with. So, the exchange will halt all Lunar-related services on June 3rd. The move follows the steps of Beat Hump and Upbeat. Corbett, a major South Korean cryptocurrency exchange, announced on Wednesday that it had delisted Terra Luna from its platform. The maneuver comes after other platforms like BeatHump and Upbeat made the same action with the controversial token. According to the Korea Herald, lawmakers from South Korea had been vocal in criticizing the chief of major crypto exchanges in the country because of their uncoordinated response to the fiasco around Luna and Terra USD. As a result, the exchanges failed to coordinate when to delist Luna with BeatHub and GoPax halting the trading of the trouble cryptos on May 10th. Still, Upbeat and Corbett suspended deposits and redraw services weeks later, causing confusion among investors. Corbett will end all Luna-related services on Friday, 3rd of June at 2 p.m. local time. On 31st of May, all deposit services will be uh, available on the platform until 2 p.m. And on 31st of August, redraw services will close at 2 p.m. The, uh, to protect its customers, Corbett plans to use transaction fees for, from any Luna-related activities after May 10, when Coins was de designated designed as a crypto to invest with caution. The money will be used to support customers that face losses due to crypto deposit mis uh, mistakes and phishing scams, the firm commented. Now guys, what's going on with Luna? What's gonna happen? Where is this price going to go in the future? I will be telling you that in a minute. But first of all, I would need to say that I am not a financial advisor. So if you are willing to invest in any kind of cryptocurrency, you should do your own research on this. However, besides Corbett that's suspending all Luna trades, take a look at these tweets. FTX will support the new Luna airdrop and suspend Luna and UST markets. Now, uh, Gate.io supports Terra 2O as well. So what's gonna happen? What is Terra 2O? Take a look at this. Are Terra USD and Terra Luna really making a comeback? Both cryptos saw some wild price swings overnight and both remain far down from their levels prior to the, this month's crash. Now, are Terra USD and Terra Luna really making a comeback? That depends on who you ask. Some crypto enthusiasts, particularly uh, would imagine those who still hold Luna and USD, are buyed by the rescue plan put forward by the uh, ERM stablecoin founder Duke Wan. We'll look uh, at the part of that plan, but first, the reason you may be hearing about a big comeback for Terra Luna and USD tokens is that both saw their prices surge over the past 24 hours. Uh, though both have given some or all of the gains back in the recent hours. Now that's what we are seeing on the chart. The price did spike all the way up almost to 3.020 in the last 24 hours. 
but right now currently is at 301667 this is actually a drop in the last 24 hours so what's going on guys take a look at this both Terra tokens saw some uh, more wild volatility over the past 24 hours a speculator's delight perhaps with the potential to make or lose big bucks in a matter of hours but hardly in line with the long-term investing philosophy embraced by the motley pool now since this time yesterday usd traded as high as 32 us cents and as low as 7 us cents it's currently trading for just under 10 us cents and, a rem and remember guys this is supposedly a stable coin that was meant to consistently be worth one dollar which is more or less was right up until the peg snap and confidence in terra evaporated two weeks ago on may 12. as of terra luna the token which was intended to help the algorithmic usd maintain its peg by enabling people to swap usd for us one dollar worth of luna at any point it got absolutely trampled as crypto investors rushed for an exit now the current value of luna is actually at 0 0.3016 that uh, about as close down as 100 percent from april heights as you can get it with the uh, some us 40 billion having gone with a virtual thin air so it's a huge drop guys and we can definitely see that in this chart for the last 30 days are you seeing this it almost flatlined but in the last seven days it's actually still in the green so the price is right over here we did get some traction since the red lines over here so where is this price going right now i will be telling you that in a moment but take a look at this duke one is determined to try and get his project back by terraform labs back on track a rescue measure he puts forth supported by 65 percent of voters in the terra community We'll see Luna blockchain split off from the original and be called Terra Classic. Luna will be rebranded as Luna Classic. The new blockchain won't support USD. Ex uh, existing Luna holders can expect to receive their Classic Luna token inside the next 24 hours. One reported what will happen via what's known as an airdrop. Now guys, let me remind you, a whole new Genesis blockchain is about to be created it was announced to air on may 27 so less than 24 hours from now so get ready and see what will happen but is luna a good investment right now let me tell you guys my honest opinion i'm not seeing the price of luna reaching some amazing heights in the very near future the only way i'm seeing this price going is either hovering around the area of 3020 or under the area of 3016 so in the very near future I am not seeing this price sub reaching some new heights. The only way I'm seeing it is remaining in this area. So almost flatline. So is Luna a good investment? By my opinion, it's not. And I would not advise you to enter Terra Luna community just now. If you like this video, leave me a comment and thank you for viewing.